Hey guys, Ivan Skwanski are back again with some more WWE 2K16 news. This time, we have 23 more people confirmed for WWE 2K16. Now, we had 10 screenshots for WWE 2K16, as well as Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy's entrance, but I already made a video talking about that like an hour ago, so make sure you watch that. I break down 10 screenshots and show off Enzo and Cass's entrance. But here we go, 23 people confirmed for WWE 2K16, starting off with the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin. Now this might come to shock to some people, like obviously, oh, Baron Corbin's in the game, that's sick. But obviously, like if you've seen my channel, you know that like in a lot of gameplays we've seen, Baron Corbin t-shirts have been in the crowd for ages. Like for ages, I've been spotting Baron Corbin t-shirts in the crowd. So I'm like, oh, if there's heaps of t-shirts of him, obviously he's going to be in the game. And yes, Baron Corbin is in the game, which is awesome. Obviously, I, I can't wait to play in the game. I mean, his finisher, the end of days, is actually in 2K15, you know, in the... Uh, in the uh, DLC move back, they actually added the end of days. But now we know that Baron Corbin's in the game. That's awesome. Next up, we saw a screenshot of the New Day. It's Big E, and Big E's awesome. He's he's so funny. You just the New Day is is the greatest thing ever. The New Day is the greatest thing ever. That's pretty much all I have to say. Next up, Bray Wyatt. We also saw a screenshot of him. It's actually pretty funny, it's been this long and we haven't even had Bray Wyatt confirmed, which is kind of weird, but yeah, Bray Wyatt's in the game, awesome, he's, uh, he, you know, we saw his screenshot and it looked really good, but yeah, Bray Wyatt looks awesome this time around, it's really incredible that, um, like, his, his model just looks awesome, I just really can't wait to see, like, fully in-depth his beard, because, you know, there's a new beard tech in the game, so I can't wait to see Bray Wyatt's beard in the game. Next up, we got the Loose Cannon. Brian Pillman, and obviously, um, if there's a Stone Cold showcase, obviously we're gonna have Stone Cold as Brian Pillman, so he has to be in the game. You know, where Stone Cold came into Brian Pillman's house, and Brian Pillman had the gun, and he was gonna shoot him and stuff. Obviously, like if there's a Stone Cold showcase, we need to have Brian Pillman in the game, and I just love Brian Pillman. He's he's awesome. So yeah, Brian Pillman's confirmed in the game. We he was into uh, WWE 13, but he's coming back this time around. Next up, Colin Cassidy. Yes, here we go, Enzo and Cass are coming in, we saw a screenshot of him, uh, as well, two screenshots of him, as well as an entrance, like the Enzo and Cass entrance in the game, so that's awesome, we, so I already talked all about him, but yeah, Colin Cassidy's in the game, 7 foot tall, awesome, speaking of Colin Cassidy, here we go, Enzo More confirmed for 2K16, we also saw a screen, yeah, it's two screenshots of Enzo, as well as his uh, th uh, entrance, and this render is actually different to his actual, like, the model we saw. And the model we saw, he's wearing, like, leopard print and his jacket's leopard print and stuff. But this, his uh, jacket and stuff is actually, like, a, a city looks like. It looks like, a, you know, a landscape, a city and stuff. So, yeah, his render is actually different to his in-game model. Next up, Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso. So, yeah, Jey and Jimmy Uso confirmed. I mean, they're the two-time champs and, you know, uh, they're actually coming back. Jimmy, I, I don't know the difference between them. I can't I can't tell the difference. But yeah, one of them's, you know, the commentator in SmackDown is going really good. The other's injured. So yeah, that's pretty sad. Next up, we also have another member from the new day. Kofi Kingston confirmed 2K16. We score a screenshot of him. And obviously he's in uh, the new day. So it's the greatest thing ever what he's doing right now. Kofi Kingston for 2K6. Confirmed for 2K16. Awesome. Next up we have Connor of the Ascension. Uh, Connor from the Ascension was DLC for 2K15. So it obviously makes a lot of sense to put him in 2K16. But yeah, in, in 2K15, the entrance, the Titan Tron stuff for the Ascension was actually like their old NXT one. So hopefully in 2K16, we'll actually get their updated ones as well as their updated entrance gear, which is in their render, you know, their big shoulder pad stuff they wear in their entrance as well as their face paint they actually wear. Next up, we have a younger Mark Henry, a Mark Henry from the Attitude Era. So this will probably play into the uh, 2K Showcase mode. Um, you know, if it's a uh, uh, Mark Henry from the Attitude Era, and then the it's 2K Showcase mode is about Stone Cold in the Attitude Era. So I'm assuming Mark Henry is going to come into this 2K Showcase at one point. Next up, we have an ECW original Mikey Rip Whipwreck. Sorry, I, I'm stumbling on my words. But yeah, Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, Whipwreck. I can't say his fucking name. But yeah, um, ECW. Fucking, you know, this is awesome. I just. 
there I expected more ECW people to be confirmed by now. I really thought, you know, people like Raven, Sandman, RVD, Tommy Dreamer and stuff would all be confirmed uh, for 2K16, but that's not the case. I'm actually sad. I, re I was really excited. To I was actually excited to play as Raven for some reason. I just had a... I just wanted to play as Raven. Like, one day I'm like, oh, hopefully in 2K16 Raven's in it. I'm like, yeah, I really want to play him. But it looks like that's not. But if Mikey Ripwreck is in the game, uh, this could be some signs for ECW Originals coming to the game. But yeah, we don't know anything at the moment. Next up, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat confirmed for 2K16. Um, Yeah, I don't think he's going to be part of the 2K Showcase. I think he's just a random legend that they're adding. So that's good if they just add legends that aren't part of the game, which is good because in 2k15 pretty much if you're not on the roster right now or you're not in a 2k showcase you're not in the game that's how it works for 2k15 so hopefully uh like in 2k16 if there if people aren't in the 2k showcase they can still at least add them to the game next up we have rusev and look at his model i'm pretty sure this is his russian attire i'm pretty sure in 2k15 he's still gonna have his russian you know titan tron russian trunks and stuff which, because you know, in real life right now, he moved to Bulgaria, and, and he, in his entrance, he's probably going to wave the Russian flag and stuff instead of the Bulgarian flag, which is it, which it is in 2K16, which sucks. I mean, I really want him to change it to the Bulgarian, but he it's too late. So I think Rusev's going to, you know, stick with Russian in 2K15. Uh, no, 16, sorry. Next up, we have Savio Vega, who probably will play part in the 2K uh, Austin Showcase as well. Next up, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley, and she was not, uh, well, we had Stephanie McMahon confirmed last week, and we have Stephanie McMahon Helmsley confirmed this week, so, you know, last week we had Stephanie McMahon confirmed, that that's pretty much the Stephanie McMahon that wrestled at SummerSlam in 2014 against Brie Bella, but this time it's going to be the Stephanie McMahon from the Attitude Era, so, you know, the, uh, she was lined with Triple H in the Attitude Era, so, if, uh, you know, the, what was, I forgot the name, but, oh, I forgot the name, the tag team was Stone Cold and Triple H were tag team, Triple H was, um, uh, Intercontinental Champion, and Stone Cold was WWE Champion, you know, they were tag team for ages, maybe that will actually pay, play a part in 2K16, and if not, then we'll probably have the rivalry of Stone Cold vs. Triple H, and that will include Stephanie McMahon Housley from the, uh, uh, Attitude Era, next up we have Sting, from 1999, now this, Looks like the Sting from WCW, not the actual Sting that we, you know, that's in WWE, which, you know, kind of sucks. I mean, he only wrestled at WrestleMania, so I don't think that was enough time to put him in the game. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Sting in 2K16 is actually going to be the WCW Sting, not the uh, Sting we have in WWE. Next up, obviously, this Sting is going to be the one from WWE. This is the blonde Sting. Whoa, Sting is uh, coming to 2K16. Uh, he was in 2K15, so it makes more sense to put him in the game anyway. So, yeah, now we know that uh, Beach Blonde uh, Sting and uh, Crow Sting will be in 2K16. Next up, we saw a screenshot of him stunning Steve Austin. So, now this pretty much confirms that in 2K16, for the showcase mode, that uh, we will actually start off you know, before the Jake the Snake Roberts match, because, you know, we all assume the Jake the Snake Roberts match will be the first one, you know, King of the Ring, because that's really where Austin 316 started, that's where Stone Cold, where we know him, started, so we assume that might be where it takes place, but no, we pretty much know now that um, the Austin Showcase will start off before that, where he's actually stunning Steve Austin, so he is aligned with the million dollar man and we saw screenshots they probably it'll probably start off where he's in WCW and ECW before which is awesome next up oh my god yes it's the American badass Undertaker yes I'm I'm fucking happy I, I'm sold already on the game uh, American badass Undertaker was in 2k14 but not 2k15 so yeah, now we can get his uh, entrance you know he's in the motorbike this is Probably pretty much everyone's favorite Undertaker, apart from the normal Undertaker, yeah. So American Badass Undertaker is going to come out on the motorbike. He's just, he is a badass. Oh, I'm so happy. This is probably going to be one of my most used characters as well, apart from Shane McMahon, who's going to be my most used character, yeah. Um, um, American Badass Undertaker is awesome. I'm going to use him so much. I remember SmackDown, uh, Here Comes the Pain, 
all I used was American Badass Undertaker, but obviously it was just called Undertaker back then because that was what he was currently doing. But yeah, American Badass Undertaker confirmed. And like I say pretty much every video, please just give me an Undertaker from 2006, 2009. Just give me a classic Undertaker that, you know, just long hair, normal Undertaker. Just uh, please give me that. Speaking of Undertaker, here we go. Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. So if there's a Stone Cold Showcase, that he'll probably run in with the Undertaker from the Attitude Era. And what was the uh, Undertaker doing in, during the Attitude Era? He was doing the Min Ministry of Darkness. That's why, here we go, Undertaker confirmed for his uh, Ministry of Darkness. That means we've confirmed three Undertakers already. we confirmed Current Undertaker, we've confirmed American Badass Undertaker, and we confirmed Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. Can we add one more in there? Just give us 2006, 2009 Undertaker. Just classic Undertaker. Just Undertaker. What you think of is, you know, Undertaker with long hair. Just classic Undertaker. Please, 2K, just give us classic normal Undertaker. Please, give us four Undertakers in 2K16. Next up, we were talking about Connor. He is Victor of the Ascension. You know, I already talked to pretty much what I think about the Ascension. But yeah, it's going to have their shoulder pads and their updated Titan Tron and their face paint in 2K16, which is awesome. And last but not least, here is the final member of the New Day, Xavier Woods. Now that is pretty cool. I've said it so many times, Xavier, the New Day is the greatest thing that's happening in like wrestling right now. So for Xavier Woods to also be confirmed is awesome. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is 23 confirmed superstars for WWE 2K16. Tell me in the comments below who who are you uh, so most excited for that's been confirmed. Um, I reckon most people are going to say, you know, either... Uh, Baron Corbin or Undertaker, American Badass, Ministry of Darkness, Undertaker, maybe even, you know, Sting and stuff. So yeah, tell me who you're most excited for that was confirmed, and I'll see you next time.